I did Shakespearean comedies and I did early 20th century American theater. But I think even within even within those mm -hmm. more kind of canonical um, subject matters, there's still so many avenues to pursue. I mean, uh, you know, I was really interested in, in kind of the feminist, you know, take, looking at, at Shakespeare through a more feminist lens, mm -hmm. looking at um, how Shakespeare deals with characters who are other eyes. My early 20th century American theater comp, it's like Ugh, Rachel cool Crother. Topic. Yeah, yes. Rachel Crother, Sophie Treadwell, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, uh, Maria Bonner. There are so many fantastic mm -hmm. early 20th century American female playwrights mm -hmm. that are just not not yeah. represented. They're yeah. not in anthologies. Glad you're They're walking out of here. No one of them. Yeah. Yeah. We Every taught Machinal this year. Well, last year they did already, oh. but it was my first year teaching, so we taught it. And the students just went crazy yeah. over it. They were like, well, some of them knew it, but others were like, what is this play? What, 1928? Mm -hmm. Yeah, This exactly. is amazing. And, and this is our legacy, too. Like, yeah, this exactly. This is like our yeah. exactly. legacy. Yeah. You know, that's a yeah. complicated term, but yeah. you know, this yeah. is part of our, our, our field and our inheritance. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. you know, what do we do with that, right? Like, given this legacy or given this inheritance mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily mean that we are compelled, you know, to go forward with it or that we have to, you know, uh, go forward in the way that other folks have, you know, before us have gone forward or, or mm -hmm. wish to see us go forward, right? right, right. So yeah. the kind of interventions, right, that I think we're all making mm -hmm. is something that this department allows you to do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think our, our professors are always kind of asking us to, mm -hmm. or pushing us to kind of look further, look deeper, mm -hmm. uh, don't stay at the surface level of things, you mm -hmm. know, and you know, going out to the library and picking out those old kind of tomes off the, exactly, <laughs> dusting them off, but, but seeing that there's still so much of worth yeah. um, mm -hmm. in them, and then really yeah. being able to kind of do your scholarship and, mm -hmm. and champion them. I, I, someday I will have somebody produce these plays because, you know. You do it. You, you went, you're going <laughs> to right. the producing yes. track, no? Yeah. All right. You yep. do it. Challenge accepted. So the School of Drama is working with Art Equity, mm -hmm. which is a group that does uh, equity, diversity, and inclusion work and having conversations about um, race, gender, you know, ability, um, various topics, right? Um, as they apply not only in our daily lives, but also in our field. Um, and, you know, this is a moment, right, I think, where these conversations, these hard conversations, mm -hmm. which are necessary conversations, which are not new, mm -hmm. you know, that said, to have a major institution be facilitating them is, is you know, significant. I will say that that doesn't mean that we've figured it out, you know. Uh, but the fact that mm -hmm. we are trying, mm -hmm. you know, and that people are willing or not, that, that we are saying this is actually something, you know, we need to talk about and how our field is complicit mm -hmm. in these things and how we have been, you know, operating in these systems to inform ourselves of that and you know that way we can make better choices right more informed decisions yeah. and I, I mean i think you see that like in rehearsal like mm -hmm. playing out in rehearsal rooms mm. and all sorts of places i think the, those conversations as dramaturgs i think we're also like really able to sometimes yeah, facilitate indeed. and lead those mm -hmm. conversations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. totally